Todd McFarlane talks about the Spawn reboot. Again. <laughs> the Spawn reboot. Um, okay. You know, do you know how old I was the first time I heard about this movie's existence? How old? Probably nine or ten. And how old are you now? I'm turning 18 in June. <laughs> <laughs> and Todd McFarlane is... I mean, I don't know what he said. Because you said okay. he talks about it. I don't know what I, he said. So I'll let you I have, that I have his, before I, have I talk his quote, more about yeah. it. All right. All right. Let, let, to give you guys some preface here, um, Tom McFarlane's been trying to get this Spawn reboot off the ground for a very, very, very long time. And like to the point, like every time he talks about it, he says it's going to be it's right around the corner. Yep. Oh, you know, the, the Joker movie came out and that's that's exactly what my Spawn movie is. And now now people are looking at my script going, oh, that's what we want. A movie just like Joker. And now now I'm getting all these people wanting to make my movie. Then. Well, it wasn't his fault. Pandemic happened. <laughs> but even through the pandemic, he's like a little broken down. Hey, it's still coming. I lost some, some investors. Uh, I mean, there's, I, think, I think I got it this time. There's people cast in this movie. This Jamie movie has Fox. Two people attached to it. Jamie Foxx and the king himself, Jeremy Renner, um, <laughs> are both attached to star in this. Dude, yeah, Cody Ray, I want to see it too, but... There's a couple of things. We'll dive into my concerns about it. Let me read this quote. Yeah, read um, the, yeah let's read the quote. Uh, let me read the quote here. Um, it says, Tom McFarlane talks Spawn reboot. Again. Something's going to give in the next few months, right? See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> that right there. This is what he always says. It's just right around the corner, fellas. Uh, something's <laughs> going to give in the next few months, right? There's too many people pushing in that direction. Again, I've got a call later today on that very subject. <laughs> it's like a car salesman. Um, you can <laughs> you can imagine Spider Man makes a billion dollars and everybody sort of gets sort of wait hold on everybody sort of gets sort of I mean they what I mean they were already crazy now they just got twice as crazy. Okay, I what? don't know what I don't know what he was just shit. What does right Spider Man there? have to do with this? I, I think Spawn's not your Spawn movie is not going to make a billion dollars, Todd. I... Uh, well, we don't know that, but I will say this: this sounds like a man just desperate, <laughs> you know? Because Spider Man, so Spider Man made a billion, so Spawn, yeah. So anyway, he continues. I mean, they got crazy when the only movies that were making money were superheroes, and then Venom goes and rocks it. <clears throat> And then Spider-Man comes and obliterates it. So now they're almost singular in, in their mindset of what kind of ideas they've got. So something has to happen. We'll never, we'll never get to the top of the mountain if we can't do it now. With everybody wanting to do it now, fingers crossed, I would say it's now or never. <laughs> it's uh, never is my guess. Well, you've been saying that for a long time. Um, but Tom McFarland yeah. said that th this comes from bleeding cool i believe that's a magazine source there um okay so as i said leading up to this uh that's this is kind of the same thing that he's always been saying he's always said it's just right around the corner oh now people are knocking on my door oh man because of x movie they're now they're hitting me up because they see my potential to have x movie success it, it this is this is rinse and repeat that's what he's doing but cody ray said he wants this the venom reboot and so do i especially tom mcfarland's concept his concept of turning it into a very hard r what, what was his quote about children seth do you remember he said he wanted them to like run out of the theater screaming and crying or something like <laughs> right that's just this man is one. out for blood right now <laughs> and um, you know what? he's done so good with that like even with his animation adaptations that were on hbo um, back in the day, that was that was a killer freaking show, man. It was if I'm dark. not, if I'm not mistaken, I think there are two more animated Spawn shows coming out. Like I think they're kind of re rebooting that. I think one of them is for kids, and oh. the other one is going to be like TVMA, like hard R. <laughs> but yeah, they're both they're both animated ones. Plus this movie, I'll say this: Jamie Fox is actually good casting. Like I actually like is that he? casting for Spawn. Jimmy Renner is an interesting casting, but I'm sure it can work. Yeah, um, I just don't like Jeremy Renner in leading roles. Yeah, uh, I I know. Know. a lot of people disagree he, with me on that one, but and he would he would be the leading role in this movie. It would not be Jamie Foxx as Spawn in the movie called Spawn. It would be Jeremy Renner. Yeah, well, because he um yeah because 
Tom McFarlane did say at one point in time, this was not going to be a Spawn focused movie. Yeah, Spawn he'd be playing. Was, sorry, you go. Spawn, Spawn will be the the nightmare in the shadows that you hear rumors about the mythology, but he, he won't spend too much time on camera. And I actually like that concept. And he even wanted to change how he looked. Like you would never see him like running anywhere. Like he, like his big mystical cape will actually be replaced with fog instead. Like I, I, listen. He's it's his character. He can change him however he wants and evolve the character. And I'm 100 percent down with it. Uh, but God, can we, can, we, can we get it? Can we see it come out? Uh, he just seems like a madman right now. Just going to everybody like, will you buy my spawn movie? Will you buy my spawn movie? Will you produce it? You know, and then he wants to direct it. This is the other thing that I'm scared about. Yeah, I was just about to bring that up. He also wants to direct it. Tom McFarlane has no directing um, experience. <laughs> when it comes to live action that I know of, um, Seth, IMDb. Seth, you had a quote once you told me about what he said when he when it came to directing this movie that really concerned you. Do you remember? That's what that exactly quote was? what I was going to bring up. Yeah, he. I remember people were asking him like, well, "What do you want this movie to be like?" You know, and he went, "All I care about is I want Spawn to be cool looking." <laughs> Mm, not not the thing not the quote i want to hear from the director of the movie like yeah that can be a thing you want to do like oh yeah on top of this great story i really want spawn to look cool but that sounds like it's spawn looking cool is his main priority like and i remember you... now he has another franchise going right now of a character that he created that's getting a movie trilogy venom mm -hmm. and i remember him yeah. saying like when he saw Venom, the only thing he cared about, the the defining factor that would make the movie good or not, is if Venom was big. And he said, yeah, Venom was big, so the movie was great. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, when, you, when you say things like this, I keep imagining um, Harry from Dumb and Dumber. You know, like, <laughs> like if he were to direct a Spawn movie, like, so what do you think Spawn should be in this movie? <laughs> cool. You're like, that's, yeah. that's what I keep imagining. Um <laughs> Jimbo says, uh, I can't tell what's been stuck in development hell longer. The Spawn reboot or the live action adaptation adaptation of Akira produced by Leonardo DiCaprio. You know, I, I don't know much about Akira, yeah. but I have heard about that. And I know it's been it's been in development for a long time. I think at one point Taika Waititi was supposed to do that movie. Oh, really? Yeah. And then he, he dropped out of it so he could do like Thor and his new Star Wars movie. So he's not attached to that one anymore. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know anything about that, but I would even raise you uh, even more and say this is the longest that Spawn has ever spent in hell, development hell. Hold on. I want to see when this movie was announced. Let me see if I can find that. It can't be any long. It cannot be longer than The Flash. The Flash was no announced way. nine freaking years ago. I mean, no, it might actually be longer than that. Hold on. I'm just going to oh, look boy. at the... Okay. Uh, Where is it? In early 2015, so you're right. Um, so this movie was announced in early 2015. The Flash was announced at the end of 2014. So the Flash has been in, in development longer, but yeah. well, at still... least the, the movie's made now. It's just sitting. Yeah, there. the movie is. Uh, this but... is a disaster. Um... It, it, it is a disaster, but you know what? I, I'll give I'll give Tom McFarlane this. The dude's not giving up hope. He's not. Uh, yeah. Like he's he's still. This is how this movie's not going to die, is him keep doing this. Yeah, we sit here and laugh at him, and I laugh more because he's kind of copying and pasting what he said years ago. He's just changed the movies that are out at the moment to compare it to. <laughs> you know, like he he, he compared it to uh, the uh, Joker movie, the Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie before. Then now he's comparing it to Spider-Man No Way Home. Like, yeah, he's, he's taking what he's always said and just changed a couple of key uh keywords in there but Tom McFarlane spawn reboot uh potentially could get made very hard r i don't know if uh, jamie fox and uh jeremy renner are still attached to it i don't know but do you guys want to do you yeah. guys want to see this let us know in the comments below uh we're gonna I, move on here uh, I was go ahead, you got one more thing go ahead i was gonna say can i throw something out there you know there's another character that i've always kind of associated with spawn even though they have nothing to do with each other at all but like hellboy I want another Hellboy reboot. I'm just throwing that out there real quick. Like, why? Okay, Hellboy reboot or the actual third Ron Perlman Hellboy? Either one. Like, I, I okay, preferably the third one, but that movie is never happening. Yeah. 
like that that movie will never happen I don't know. So, never say never. Never say never. The only reason I'm saying never is Harris, because Harrison Ford's going to be 80 years old before his next um, Indiana Jones movie come out. So never okay. say never. But the reason, do you know why Hellboy three is not made? Like, do you know the actual reasoning behind it? No, go ahead. Is the budget the 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 budget they needed for Hellboy three is more money than the second movie made at the box office. So they're oh. they're not really willing to take that risk because. You know, Hellboy, people like the movies, but they weren't super, you know, box office success movies. So they're and the, the second one, I'm pretty sure made even less than the first one did. So is they're Gu not they're not willing to take that risk for the third one. Is Guillermo, uh, Guillermo, del, Guillermo del Toro, is he um not willing to like, you know, change the script so it doesn't have to be that big of a budget? They they tried to work it out. From what I know, it was at one point like a two hundred and thirty million dollar budget. And then they worked it out, and the lowest that he wanted to get it, like the lowest he could get it in terms of how he wanted the movie to be, was two hundred million dollars, which is still like way yeah. more than they were willing to invest in. So I kind of get it, though. It sucks that the movie's probably never going to happen. Yeah, I don't know. I was just throwing yeah. it out there. I really want a Hellboy, a new Hellboy movie. Yeah, well, if they reboot it, let's not reboot it and make it the same fucking thing again. That'd be good. Exactly. Um,